Welcome to Yacht Talk. In this episode, we continue our chat with interior designer Cristiano Gatto, who's currently working on several great Heeson projects. A very special one is Project Orion. Just like her pioneering sister ship, Home, Orion will feature the innovative Heeson Hybrid Propulsion System. We're excited to hear all about her lavish interior concept from Cristiano, so let's get started. The second project that we talk uh, at the moment is uh, the Project Orion. Project Orion is, uh, uh, let's say, is the result, is the fifth uh, sister or daughter of the very uh, successful series uh, that started a long time back with the project uh, that uh, everybody knows as Project Home uh, and uh, has a lot of uh, peculiarity to make uh, this project like a completely different boat to the other boats that are on the market. Thanks to the fact that uh, this one is a hull number five, we have uh, uh, been able to build it, delivered, used uh, some of the uh, sister ships that uh, was built before this one. And this one allowed us to uh, emphasize or understand better what was the goal and what was the uh, important place that uh, we made it perfect at the beginning and uh, area where we can improve or way to use the boat in a different way to what we was thinking at the very beginning. One of the most important, in my opinion, is that we have done a, sh a change on the layout of the vessel, bringing the uh, space that before was the gym areas that was dividing the guest accommodation to the um, engine rooms. Now we have uh, moved it uh, uh, closer to the aft deck, it's, it's in direct connection with the beach part. So it it's becomes a room that is at the same time it can be a gym, uh, um, a space for gym or let's say exercise room, or it can be um, beach club. It has a different uh, multiple proposal. We have done different uh, also uh, setup just for that reason. In any case, you have the sauna, you have the, the bathroom areas and etc. etc. But you have a, a large space that can be used and is directly connected to the uh, beach platform. And this one, on my opinion, makes a big difference on the use of the boat. But the efficiency of, uh, of this project is uh, the direct consequence of the research uh, that the shipyard is doing in terms of building uh, light, uh, light vessels with, uh, let's say, sh uh, smaller propulsions or, let's say, efficient propulsion systems. And uh, is a direct consequence or uh, an improvement of what has been done with home at that time, that was the first uh, vessel with this kind of uh, hybrid system. And uh, we are expecting to have uh, even a better uh, performance and result with this new vessel. I do remember when we delivered home at that time, we uh, went out of the port at eight knots and was uh, zero vibration, zero noise. It was unbelievable quiet. That kind of uh, peaceful sailing that you can have as experience if you are a sailor and you go with the, just with the winds and you have a very nice day with the flat uh, uh, flat uh, sea and a bit of wind that give you a bit of power. Uh, that kind of peaceful experience is the, what I try when I was on home and I think that is the owners who will own uh, Orion, he can enjoy that one in many different occasions. Now that uh, yachting is more and more an intimate needs, uh, where uh, uh, after the experience that we have done with uh, COVID and etc. Cetera, etc., cetera, we we really believe that the yachting is the ultimate confine where you can be comfortable, peaceful, and uh, enjoy uh, the lifestyle with your family. And uh, we was trying to have this one 
expose also on the interiors and on the choose of materials and finishings that make the construction of the interiors. Of course, we are looking forward to have the lucky owner who will buy this vessel to work with us on the finalization of the loose furniture and decorations to tweet the interiors. But the main goal is to give to him uh, a feeling of richness and piece at the same time. The interiors that we have designed uh, for the Project Orion is, is quite uh, combined of, uh, we have different veneers, we have different leathers, materials, and different kind of marbles uh, combined together on the same furniture. So it's a quite sophisticated combinations. Uh, some of them are here close to me and I will show you. So the first one is uh, uh, the ebony. Uh, in this case, it's a uh, matte, uh, matte finishing and we have matte and, and uh, glossy. It's uh, um, an ebony that we have, uh, um, it's the Amara side, uh, just for the technique, uh, technical people of that. Uh, the good part of it is that coming, we have a certification from, of the origin of the materials and it's not out of deforestation, so let's say, or destroying a part of our uh, fantastic planet until we have it uh, and uh, this one is uh, uh, for example teak but is uh, grow teak so it's uh, it's let's say farmed uh, so it's uh, we, it has been planned to be um, then uh, used for uh, construction of furniture and finishings you can see it because it's slightly different in terms of texture but uh, give the almost the same performance and is is much better for our platinum. The third material that I want to show you, because I am really happy to work with this, we do a lot of uh, research on uh, find alternative materials and solution for the teak and the teak flooring and etc. And uh, teak decking and etc. Is uh, it's these materials that uh, we are using at the moment with, uh, for example, in Project Orion for the beach areas. And uh, it's, um, it's a synthetic materials. The main advantage is that uh, is uh, very resistant. Uh, is um, I have a large level of colors and finishings, so I can personalize much more. Uh, durability, maintenance, uh, it resists better on uh, oil and uh, other sun creams and things like that and it's very easy to reapply in a second and a third stage so in terms of uh, long uh, performance of the materials is a successful material. Project Orion if, uh, is in schedule at the moment for the constructions and uh, I need to wait a bit to have it because uh, I will see her in the water on 2025. There is one thing more important that I want to tell you just at the end of the conversation that we have today. Uh, we are also happy and proud to work uh, in another project with, uh, with his and at the moment. That is a full custom project, that is the project Sete Setanta. And uh, for us it's uh, a nice uh, challenge because it will be a fully custom product. And But I really strongly believe that it will become uh, one of the new uh, his and standards in this kind of uh, size and vessel because it uh, ticks all the box that is in the DNA of uh, his and I cannot tell you more at the moment but I really think that it would be a great project.